Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy with The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a special guest with you with us today. We have our uh, our podcast um, community team member, and he has his own podcast on our um, The Advisor, and his name is Sean Robinson, and he is a coach, and he teaches a lot of great tools and techniques and strategies on how to live a healthy, happy, and productive lifestyle, and today he wants to talk about um, professional development and really making our own pathways, you know, really being able to figure out what we need in life, what our purpose is, and being able to actually create a pathway that's going to get us there. So Sean, why don't you take it away and let everybody, you know, a little about yourself and, you know, about what you're going to talk about today, because I'm really excited to hear what you have to say. Hi, Stacey. Uh, well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be back. And, and yeah, I just, uh, I, I went through my own path as we all do. And Basically, when I took uh, something in college, I took law on security years and years ago, and it was never something that I thought I'd, I'd end up using. Uh, I, I had a few career jobs with it, and and I was looking through a transition. So uh, as I started to figure out what I wanted to do, because, you know, who really knows in high school what you want to do when you're 40, 30, 40, 50 years old? Yeah. Nobody, as far as I know, <laughs> you know, you get you get to these different steps in your life where you have to start developing into that role that you want or that thing that you want and as I started to figure it out younger age I couldn't afford to go back to school for the other things I was looking for yeah. so I, I started working through it in different ways and and we can get into that more but but a lot of what I want to talk about is just that professional development from a standpoint of you're starting to figure out what you want be it a second career or you know lifestyle change or you just sick of what you were doing there's a lot of ways to do it that don't mean you have to go back to take that expensive university program or college program exactly you know a lot of people you know um think that you know because in our society we are trained to think you need college, you need college, you need college. And yes, I went to college, you went to college, but how much did we really use? Like I, I used a small portion of what I learned in college. Most of it was from experience. It was from really getting out there in the real world and just learning, you know, being in the moment in the, in the area of in the industry that I was in and just learning from, from others, learning from people, making connections and just growing professionally in, in my, in my industry. But, you know, I feel like, you know, a lot of it has to do with, you know, being in the industry and really, you know, if something really interests you, you, you take, you really open your ears and open your eyes and you really listen and figure out what's works and what doesn't. And then maybe ask a lot of questions too, because, you know, people are afraid to ask questions, but I think people like that when they see you asking questions and you get involved and you're eager to learn and eager to grow. I think that shows a really positive, you know, persona about you. Yeah, it definitely does. And and a lot of it, we're always figuring out uh, how, what we like and don't like. You know, we we get out of school, whatever age that is, and, and you just, you get into something, right? We've, we, everybody's got to work. So yeah. you get into something and maybe it's it's what you like, maybe you don't down the road. Oh, I'll do this when I get to whatever point. If, if that happens, great. If it doesn't, um, you know, we, we feel stuck. But yeah, um, it's it's more about just understanding that, one, you're never stuck. Yes. And, and like anything we're working on, it, it isn't that you're just going to show up tomorrow with career that you want, right? Right. right? It's something that you have to pick at. So if you're not in a position of your life because of, you know, life happening, family, whatever it is, that doesn't mean that you can't still take that course or you can't still work on that program or you can't still pick away at some credentials in an area that you think you might like to get into in right. an effort that there will be point a transition and at that transition you're going to be more prepared for it because you took the time while you were doing this other thing you maybe don't like and and you worked towards a point where you could make it a change now when you were going through your own personal experiences and through your just noticing what your clients do too like when you have when you're in a in a in a job maybe you're not happy with and you really you really are trying to find that passion you know how does someone like you know start planning is there a productive way to start planning and start you know being able to focus on your job but yet focus on your future and focusing on making changes in your future so you can kind of go in a different direction because you know deep down inside where you're at right now is not where you want to be. Yeah, it uh, 
I mean, it's a difficult concept, but if you break it down a bit more uh, simplified, uh, we all don't have time. You know, our biggest thing is, oh, I, don't, I just don't have time. I can't take that course. I don't have time. Yeah. But then we, we need to think about what we're making time for. Right. You know, are, are we caught up on the latest few shows that that all our friends are talking about? Are we, yeah. um, you know, what are we doing with our time? Whatever that means to somebody. What is it that we're doing? And and really process where we're spending our time. And if we even if we took, you know, a portion of that and we put that, that into some kind of development, if we're reading one of your books or we're reading whatever. Yeah, that's that's one step towards learning a bit more and maybe. Maybe you're learning something that you, you know, oh, yeah, I don't want to do that uh, because it's related to what I'm doing now. I'm looking for something different. If you're a tradesperson, uh, I was an electrician. If you don't want to do that anymore or whatever, maybe you're taking business courses. Maybe you're taking art. Who knows? It's 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 just while you're doing something, whether it's related, you know, to, speaking of my own experience, maybe I'm yeah. going to take a specialty course like a fire alarm course or, you know, a communications course so that right. I'm better at that current job. Or maybe I'm going to take something unrelated. It's it's taking that opportunity while you're doing something to to piece away, to, to pick away at, at growth. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times we get stuck in that role. I'm not saying I was stuck in that role, but when I took law and security in college, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. So the jobs, the jobs that I was in, I didn't like. Right. So in an effort to get away from that, knowing I couldn't go back to college and take more courses and pay more money, mm -hmm. what can I do to be more towards where I want to be? Yeah. And, you know, it's just about, it's just about signing up for things. It's about taking those, taking courses instead of paying big money to go back and do something you may not like. And I think that's a great point because, you know, like we were talking about earlier today, we, you know, some people, you know, um, are go-getters and they don't, they don't, they're not maybe happy where they are or they want to, they want to go to the next level. They want to elevate. And then you have those people who will just sit on the couch and think, well, it's eventually going to happen to me, you know, it's, you know, and they don't do anything. They don't do anything to actually get to the next level or to develop their their personal development, you know, they just, you know, they expect that life and, and opportunities will come to them. And in the real world, that doesn't happen. So what's your intake on that? No, that, uh, that that's a lot of, of the, the comfort that we get in when we're in a, in a position. It's like, if I, if I do this long enough, then it'll just be my turn. You right. Know, you'll see these people get, get promoted or, or get move up or opportunity come and, whatever's happening in that moment that they're the, they're the selection. It's like, Oh, well soon it'll be my turn. Yeah. Well, why, why does someone feel, why do we feel like it's just going to be our turn? I felt this way for a long time. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be my turn next. Well, why was it going to be my turn? What was I doing to make myself better in that moment to be the best selection for whatever that, that position was. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, we're not doing anything thing we just think because we're the, around the longest or that you know the people around me got it so it must be me next but that doesn't mean that 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 other person's not going to come in and going to have that one thing even if it's the smallest thing but maybe they've got one thing that's just a bit better than what you have and now you've lost that opportunity you thought was yours and and the way i found to get away from that is to stop waiting for it yeah. stop waiting for that moment and just start creating it yourself Right. If it's, if it's, if it's something that is related to your job that makes you better, and maybe mm -hmm. it's not a job, whatever it is, if, if there's something you're doing and there's, there's a, a course, there's a, a book, there's a podcast, there's whatever that you can intake or learn or experience that will make you better at that thing. Yeah. You're then better than the people around you. You're closer to being selected from the group around you to to move up or move on or or to get selected for for that thing you think is coming for you. Yeah, you know, I I think that's a great point. And you know, do you think that maybe we have to change our mindset because I think, you know, if if you are, you know, if you're you're working in personal development, you know, you need a lot of resilience, you need discipline, you need to be focused, you need to have a clear idea of what you want and how you're going to do it. So is there like a specific mindset that you think people need to really incorporate in order to be successful and to be able to develop in their personal development? I definitely do. I think it's all it's all a mindset. 
um, a lot of that person like that's that's stuck in that, that uh, fixed mindset, thinking that that uh, you know I'm I'm here. This is where I'm at. I can't do anything. It's never going to come. Uh, I don't need to do anything. I think whatever that is, it's like you you get stuck in that fixed mindset, and you you're not going to do anything because it's not. You don't think it's going to matter. Um, changing your mind and and working through becoming from that fixed mindset to more growth minded. Yeah. That's where that's where you get growth. You 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 become growth minded when you're looking for that opportunity to learn something or to do something different, or you're looking for that moment to 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 take advantage of maybe not catching up on that show because you're gonna you know take this course or watch this YouTube program or, or it, like it doesn't have to cost money, right? It just it right. can be it can be somebody's online content that you're not having to subscribe pay for. So, so a lot of the stress about development is, oh, it's going to cost money. It's time. I don't have time. And like I said, you have to process what you're spending your time on, yeah. but it doesn't all have to cost money. You can learn a lot from a, from a lot of free content out there. Yeah. Um, so becoming more growth minded and just looking for that, that opportunity to be a bit better than you were even this morning. And what do you think about planning? Like, do you think that someone should start when they're deciding that they want to move forward and they want to they want to elevate into the next level of their life? Do you think they should start maybe maybe keeping a journal and maybe setting goals and start planning on, okay, I'm here right now, but this is my main goal. And I think I'm going to do like in, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I want to do this. And the next couple you know months, I want to do this and, and start trying to figure out like kind of organize themselves so it doesn't seem overwhelming to the person yeah we we've talked about this and and i highly suggest the people check out uh, our past episodes but um yeah. to, to touch to touch on that uh, i definitely think we need to keep a plan um and i know the journal uh along with that plan the you know using a journal to to document our thoughts to to keep track of of what we're doing what we're trying what's working what's not working and then aside from that having that plan to say you know, if, if you want to become something more than what you're doing right now, think about the things that you want to do, right? It's, I want to be the the president or prime minister, you know, maybe that's a bit of a stretch goal, but how do you get to that point, right? You start to get yeah. involved in politics, you start to do whatever. So coming up with that plan, whatever the the, the big goal is, and, and piecing away or picking away at some of the smaller um, things that might get you there, you definitely have to have a plan. And, and while you have that plan, it's it's important not to stress about, you know, getting to the top, you know, the top yeah. of that pyramid. It's like, let's just worry about getting a bit better than we were already. And and you may find in that process that you don't really want what you thought you wanted. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you, because you've grown so much from that person you were already, you've grown so much. And, and, and maybe in that process by doing something, you, you really stumble across what it is you do want to do. And then it's a, it's a quick diversion, right? You start to take things and you change your plan. You, you write about your journal and you start to really uh, work towards that new goal Yeah, and you just compound, you just keep, keep adding to, to that growth. And all of a sudden, you know, you're a couple of years, a year, even like it doesn't take long to get to, but you've taken, you've started this person, you become more growth minded. You're, you're adding courses on and then, that opportunity comes. You, yeah. you you are the one that is the best suited for that role. Right. And, and you may even find that a position gets created for you in that role because you've done so much extra work. Right. And and just, just to add to that, you know, when we're sitting around waiting, waiting for it, like it doesn't come, you know, it's never going to come. When when you wait, if wait for it, that position won't come. Um, yeah. It won't get created. It'll, it'll always go to somebody else or they'll do without Exactly. It's so true. You know, I, I think, think people have to realize that you have to prove yourself because like, you know, there's so many people in this world, there's so much competition in every industry. And unless you show that you're worthy, you're, you're not going to be recognized. And, and, you know, even if you're an introvert, you know, there are ways just by showing, you know, your, your talents, you know, just by, by being on time and doing the work you're supposed to showing quality work, you know, uh, these things matter. These things are recognized, you know, and uh, anyone is, is capable of making a dream become a reality. It's just being able to believe in yourself. And, and how do you feel about that? 
No, I, I agree with you 100%. I, I think um, anybody, it doesn't take anyone anyone special to to do this for themselves. You just have to want it. And, and, and like anything, if you want anything, if you want to lose weight, if you want to be uh, a runner, if you want to get better, get a better career, if you want it, then you'll find what you need to do to get there. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll want to take those courses. You'll want to watch those programs. You'll want to do something different yes. than you, than you were used to doing before. Do you think like a lot of times too, like um, what holds people back is the fear of change? Because I know, I know fear plays a big role in people's lives. Like if you go on the internet and you start talking about fear, people will swarm to articles about fear and, and change too. Like people are always scared. Well, if I change, what happens if I fail? What happens, you know, to my life? What happens if I change and then I don't like it, you know? And they, instead of focusing on the positive, there are a lot of people that will focus on the worst of the worst of the worst that could possibly happen. And then that holds them back, you know? So like, what is your intake on that? Like, what do you think? Well, a few things. I think a lot of it is because we don't have a concept of what we might become or what we're working towards. Right. Right. Um, so if we start to, you know, even if you find a person that has that and you follow them on uh, social media or you start to follow um, them uh, watch videos or, or whatever uh, you start to create this vision for, for what it is you're trying to become yeah there is all whatever it whatever you're wanting to work on there's someone out there doing that yeah. so you'll find an example so if we if we look for that example then we start to process on our own minds what that might look like for us yeah we and then and then we we have once we have an awareness of it once we can and see what that looks like we start to think about what that looks like we can picture ourselves in that position yeah and that's for anything if you want to drive a you know big full-size truck mm -hmm. go rent one right go rent one and, and or just go take a test drive then you picture yourself in it and 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 you know that's a process a part of a process of of picturing yourself in that moment so mm -hmm. you know go go to the place you want to work at and go on a tour or whatever that is it's like go you know go to the college and you know, sit in on a class. There's a lot of opportunity there. Once we can conceptualize what it is we're working on, then we lose a lot of that fear. I think yes. we we eliminate a lot of of what would hold us back because then we can picture it. And once we can picture it, it becomes more achievable. We can yeah. reach it. We can get there. That's very true. I think that's a great point. And I, I think people, you know, have to realize that even if, if they achieve it and they're not as happy as they thought they were, there's always other options out there. You know, it, it's, you know, we have a, a world of endless opportunities and people should always realize that, you know, you, you have to keep trying until you really are happy with who you are and your life. And, you know, until you feel like you reached that, that purpose, you know, and that passion. And I think when, when you know you've reached that purpose, purpose in life is when you have the passion, when you get out of bed and you're looking forward to get out of bed and you, you're looking forward to start in the day because of what you're doing. You're not, you know, people who are unhappy with their jobs or they're unhappy with their positions, they get out of bed and they, they don't even want to get out of bed. They just like dragging their feet to the bathroom and brush their teeth, you know, like they just don't want to do it, you know? And I think it's so important, you know, to, to find that, that purpose in life. You know, and, you know, I think that's what also when you find that purpose, you get that drive to want to elevate to the next level and that, you know, that that will to actually want to, you know, increase your personal development, too. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. And when we when we do it slowly, it's less drastic. We we yeah. we don't feel like we've left a, a position on a, on a Friday and by Monday we're completely new because that's a lot of pressure yeah. not a lot of people like starting that new job right but but when you do it gradually when you're when you're doing something even if it's a part-time job and I know that's another time commitment but you know if there's something you can do on the side that is related to what it is you want to become yeah um, you you start to to develop that you start to, to ease more into that next role rather than, you know, um, hard stop right now. And, and when we work on ourselves and we start to take away those core, take those courses or read those books, we start to work on that development. Um, you're not doing that right away. Right. Any course you ever take, even like it's 
it takes you know at least a semester to get through the content so if you think about that in your own life whatever you're doing yeah and there is so much free stuff out there so it's not even that it can be about a, a, um, a money commitment yeah because just don't do the things that cost money if it's if it's a thing you don't want to pay for do something exactly. that gets you there that's already there for free or or part of a you know a spotify subscription um but it's it's like working on yourself gradually to get from where you are now closer yeah. to where you think you want to be and then just building as you go and you're not going to lose that growth you're never going to lose that growth that's the thing about speaking about fear we fear change but you know it's not a failure if you try this thing and you've you've got however much experience or you know this course behind you because maybe that process just made you learn what you don't like about whatever it was you thought so then you start to to move that path and you're still carrying on yeah and i think even with personal development you know there's so many people out there like let's say alex Mosey. he he talks about how he failed like seven times in a row and then he finally hit the big one you know like and and then a snowball effect took but it took him many times of experience and failure you know trying something and it didn't work trying something and it didn't work trying something and it didn't work until he got to the point where he tried something and it worked, you know, and I think that goes to sometimes with personal development, you know, we might not feel like we're getting where we want to get, but eventually we will get there. You know, it's, it's just trial and error and we might make some mistakes, but we shouldn't give up, I think, you know, and, and that's what I worry about is that people after they try to, to, to better themselves, they, they don't see what they want. They don't see the results that they were hoping for in their head. And then they just want to give up. And, you know, they shouldn't because, you know, the more we try, the better we get the mistakes we make, we learn from. And like, mm -hmm. what's your intake on that? Well, uh, we are, it's not that we, we may make mistakes. We will make mistakes. We will. Yeah. And, and, and whether we call it a failure or we call it an opportunity, we will do that. So when yeah. we get into a new uh, initiative or a new, you know, uh, level, whatever that is, there will be those moments. So when you get to those moments, oh, okay, well, yeah, this, this one didn't work. Cool. I knew this was going to happen. Yeah. So then you, you, you keep going because you want to get to the next opportunity to learn or the next failure because right. it's going to happen. We're not born with all the knowledge and all the skills. Yes. Um, we have to develop that and whether you, it's, it's, you know, peak performance and, and, uh, um, you know, the 10,000 hour rule or whatever you believe in about, you know, growth and learning. It's, yeah. it's like, you're going to fail. You're going to have to, to have those moments. And you're also going to have to pick yourself up and just, right. just keep going. And, and Hormozy, he, he has so many real gems that he shares. Yeah. Um, and, and the biggest one for me was, was hearing him say, um, don't emulate the, or emulate the rise, not the plateau. Yeah. Because I mentioned about following people and, and definitely, you know, change your inputs, start to follow people that are more like what you want to be yeah. and you will become that. Um, most of the people you're going to follow, they're at some form of plateau. It may yeah. to where you are. It might seem like they're at some form of plateau, but what got them there and, and what got them there is doing that work. And, and yes, coming to those moments where you have to make a decision to, to keep going or to stop. And right. really, if, as long as you're doing something, you know, that's progressive for you, for your family, for where you want to be, that the answer is never to stop. That's always right. to keep going. And I, I think too, also is that we have to surround ourselves with go-getters and positive people, because I think the people we surround ourselves around are the people we become because our energies kind of play off of each other. So I think if you really want to elevate to the next level and you want personal development and you want to grow and you want to be a better person, then you should be like around like-minded people. And it kind of, I think it, it, that helps. I think it encourages you, it, you learn from each other and you, it could help you actually grow, I think. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And 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 if you can't if you can't find those people, then be one. Yes. And then you'll find those people. Yes. It's it's not you like you're gonna meet that person and then they're gonna you know there'll be people that pull the best out of you, of course. Yeah. Just as it will be the other way. But if if you can't find that person, be that person, and, exactly. and then the rest will come. You start to think more positive. You start to be more happy. You start to move away from that that 
you know, environment that might be holding you back, then yeah. you'll start to find those other environments. That growth will, will, will come for you as much as you're going for it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. And I think too, is like, if you become that person, I think your energy resonates like the law of attraction and you will attract those people. Those people will start coming into your life You and you'll just cross paths and you'll just meet those people. And, 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 and you'll be like, oh, that's so funny because, you know, I, I was thinking about the same thing and, and you think it's a coincidence, but for me, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think basically your energies kind of bring in those people, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a real thing. And, and there's a lot of, you know, woo woo about it that, that yeah. some people can't get behind and, right. and that's okay. That's okay. But it, it is a reality that the more positive you are, the more positivity that will surround you, the yeah. more negative you are, the more you're going to find negative. So, uh, you know, to work towards becoming more positive is simply just catching yourself in those moments. And, yes. you know, we've, we've talked about that before, but a lot of it is, is, the, the person that you you think you want to be more like as soon as you start to become like that then yes you're you're going to become more like those the, the people you want to be around yeah and and and, and you know there, there is some stress about about it when you're getting started because oh i'm gonna lose all my friends um you know that's not that's not the case just like yeah. anything it's not like you wake up one the next day and you, you know your entire existence is gone but you might grow away from people yeah but you're gonna you're going to grow closer to other people right it's not it's not that you keep the same friends for your entire life anybody of any age can look back and and pick up they're not as close as some people anymore and you know it probably wasn't that bad you probably just naturally grew apart right that'll happen again you'll have that happen your entire your entire life and as you become more like who you want to be the Mm -hmm. the more you will find other people and, and grow closer to other people but you're not getting rid of anybody. There's no door that closes the second you decide you want to, you know, start working on something. Right. Exactly. And that's such a great point because, you know, I hear a lot of people, they, they kind of, you know, you know, we were having this discussion with somebody and, and, you know, we were saying how, you know, as you get older, you know, friends come and go, but we always, you know, we, we were all talking about it. It's like, sometimes people is coming in your life for a certain amount of time and there's a reason for it. And, you know, and when that journey is kind of over, you know, they, you know, it's okay for people to leave your life and it's okay for friendships to, you know, to kind of dwindle or, you know, it's not like you're not friends. You're just not as the relationship isn't the same as it was before. You may not see that person as much, or maybe, maybe you are in a friendship that, you know, it just didn't work out after, you know, you might've been close for many years and then just things started to change and it's okay, you know, but it is important when you're, when you're doing self development to really be around really good minded people, I think. Yeah. And it's, it's all gradual. Like you, you yes. don't just, you just, you eventually you look back and like, Oh, you know, I don't see so-and-so as much anymore. Or, or yeah. you start to think like, Oh, you know what? Like I, I remember when I didn't care at all about reading or I yeah. wasn't paying attention to the opportunities. And like, these are, these are my actual thoughts at one point. So there's, there's a lot in that where you just think back after, you know, a year, a couple of years later, you're like, Oh, yeah. I, I can't believe I don't talk to that person anymore. Or, and maybe you, you just start to wonder how they're doing and you message them anyways. Like there's nothing holding you back from that. Just, just, you know, start to do the things that, that will take you closer to where you want to be. And, and the rest will start to fill in for you. You will naturally work on doing those things because like we talked about having that, that path and having that, that direction, at least in, in where you want to go between now and, you know, short term, you know, it starts to, it starts to show itself. Definitely. I agree a hundred percent. And if you had to take, you know, some takeaways and you wanted to emphasize on really important things, what are some of the things you'd like to tell the audience, you know, to get them on that path, you know, to help them, you know, make that path that they've been wanting to journey down, you know, what are some, some advice you'd like to give them? If I, th- if I think I had to pick a couple, I would definitely say, you don't want to focus on your time. So what are you spending your time on? What makes up your day? Um, we've, we've all got to work. We've maybe we've got family, those things. Yes, they fit in, but what can you do with the time you have as it sit in front of the TV and catching up on the show or is it doing something else? So right. one, pay attention to time Two, cost. We worry about, it's going to cost all this money. I can't retrain myself. I can't take this, this course. I can't 
work on that because it's it's expensive. Well, maybe the option you're looking at is expensive. Maybe going back to university is expensive. So what can you afford? What can you do? And you can break that rate down to something extremely small, like what somebody's YouTube channel. Yeah. So it, it's it's not a matter of cost. It's a matter of what you can afford right now. Yeah. So so time is one, cost is one. And and I would say uh, the other the other big one is just don't wait around. You yeah. know, you you wait around and you think it's coming. It's probably not. Um, right. And and at some point, no matter where we come from, no matter what our background is, at some point we are responsible for where we are yes. and no one else. It's not our parents. It's not our friends. It's not our, you know, our husbands, wives, partners. Hmm. At some point we get to a point we are responsible and we have to do it and don't wait around. Start yeah. to do something about it. I, I agree a hundred percent with you. Now, can you tell people some of the services you provide? Cause you provide a, a numerous amount of different services that really can make a huge impact on people's lives. Can you tell us about some of them? Uh, yeah. So um, coaching, I'm starting to get into coaching and um, I'm doing a lot. I've got a lot of YouTube videos. I'm doing a lot of these things that, uh, that, that I mentioned people to do it's not to go follow mine although that's cool too there's a lot of good uh, content out there on um, tiktok I'm, I'm doing that a, a lot of videos just short stuff to to really encourage people to start to look at you know from inside where where they can start to change uh I'm, i've put out a youth there a email newsletter every week um i've got a lot of content focused around just getting rid of those excuses and and really picking apart the things that are holding you back in an effort to start start to become that better version, that person that you want to be, because this is a judgment-free zone and we've all got to do what we need to do for the best for ourselves. And we're in control of that. So a lot of it is just making, helping people become aware that, you know, we, we hold ourselves back, nobody else. Exactly. Now, where can people find you on the website? Can you tell them your website address? Yeah. So my website is seanrobinson.ca. Um, I've got, uh, my, all my content linked through my website. Um, I'm at going dry on, on most social platforms, uh, Sean Robinson on LinkedIn and yeah, yeah pretty well. Most of the, the social media platforms, uh, I, I post a lot of different content and videos. That's awesome. Oh my God. This has been so great. I, I love having you on the show. You're just truly amazing and you bring such great insight. You know, it's, it's important that people really understand that, you know, we have the capabilities to do whatever we want, that we can make those dreams a reality, that we can grow in our, in, you know, in our, in our life, you know, whether it be work or personal life, you know, we can elevate to the next level and it's just learning how to do it. And you really showed us a lot of great pointers today on how we can begin and how we could actually get there at the end of the board. So I like to thank Thank you for that because you were great today. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate being here. And and we are all capable. Um, we just need to get behind ourselves and, and start to pick away at what we can do to get there. But we've all got it in us. It's we're, We come from the same place. 100%. 100%. Thank you so much. I, I love having you here. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.